Hey makers, this is Thruveen and today's video is one of the interesting one. Let's say for an example you are using Power Apps and Power Automate and you want to use on-premise data sources like SQL Server, MySQL or any file system. Then how you can connect your Power Platform with on-premise data sources? For that you always need a data gateway. So in this video I am going to talk about how you can set up the data gateway for Power Platform. So let's get started. Over here I have opened web.powerapps.com and over here I have opened Dataverse section. Over here there is an option called Gateway. Now when you see that currently there is no gateway configured for this tenant. Now to configure the gateway we need to install the gateway on the server. Before we get started with the gateway installation we need to consider couple of hardware and software requirement. Also, we need to consider a couple of recommendation provided by Microsoft. So I will provide the link in the description box which is showing the minimum hardware requirements over here. And it is showing couple of related consideration over here as well. Now let me just highlight one of the key consideration that I want to give to you over here. You can install the gateway on the server which never fall asleep. Which means that you always need to install a gateway on the server which will never turn off. Which means that, let's say for an example, if you install the gateway on your personal computer and let's say when you, you shut down your machine, what happens here is you will lose the connectivity in between your on-premise data source and power platform. So always install a gateway on a server which will never fall asleep and never install the gateway on your domain controller. That is also the necessary condition over here. So just read through and go through this documentation for minimum and recommended hardware software requirement. Okay. Now let's start the installation process. So over here, you need to just click on learn more and that will redirecting you to this installation guideline. And don't worry, I will provide you the direct link to download the gateway as well. So over here, there is one link to download the standard gateway. So you just need to simply click on stand, download a standard gateway. The link is available in the description box. Once you click on that, it will download one exe file. And once it is downloaded, it will be available in the download folder. So I am starting downloading the file and it's being downloaded. Now let me just open up the folder. It's done and gateway download process has been completed successfully. Now we need to install our gateway. Double click on your gateway setup and start the installation process. It just provide you the folder path, just accept terms and condition and click on install. So currently I am setting up this gateway on one of my virtual machine which is never going to turn off and basically with respect to this gateway I can connect any data sources available on this system like any file system or let's say I have some on-premise SQL server I can easily access it to my Power Apps and Power Automate using the same gateway. And here we are. The installation has been completed successfully. Now we need to configure the email address to this gateway. So over here I am going to use my Office 365 account to configure my account with this gateway. So whenever I build my Power Apps or Power Automate flow with that account, this gateway will be appearing as a part of connection. So now let me enter the email address over here. So I'm entering the email address and now I need to click on sign in. Let me just select my account and here we are. It is showing me register a new gateway on this computer. So yes, I want to do that click on next and now you need to provide the name of your gateway. So I am just providing the name as PBI Power Platform Gateway. You can provide any name. You need to just enter your recovery key. It should be 8 character limit over here. So just enter any recovery key if in case if you need to recover your gateway. So I just entered the recovery key and now let's click on configure. So it will configure this gateway to my Office 365 account. 
So our gateway has been installed successfully and once your gateway is installed successfully it will be appearing over here into your gateway option from Power Apps. You can see that this is the same gateway that we configured. Okay. So this is how we can easily configure the gateway for our Power Platform. So that's it for today's session. If you are for the first time to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from me. If you are looking for any consultation, the website link is available over here. And don't forget to follow me on all my social media like Twitter, Instagram, podcast. Every link is available on this channel cover homepage. With this, this is Thruvin signing off. See you in the next session with some amazing content. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.